Hey everyone and welcome to our YouTube channel. In this video, I am going to show you how you can create a donut chart in Tableau. Donut chart can have multiple requirements. For example, let's say you are trying to show regional sales. In that case, instead of creating a simple pie chart, you can give the richness to your dashboard by adding a donut chart. First, let me show you how a donut chart looks like. So if you would go to this, this link, right? I've just done a quick Google search. So these are the kind of donor charts you have. I'm sure you must have seen this n number of times. And this is cool. Let's go back to Tableau. If, if we are seeing here, right? If you go to show me option, you won't find a direct link for donor chart. Definitely, we have the pie chart available. And in this video, we are going to do some customization on top of pie chart to create a donor chart for you. Let's start and see how easily you can get this in Tableau. First of all, I'm going to connect to my data source. So for that, I'm using sample superstore data set. It might take a while to get loaded. It's done for me. I'll just double click on order sheet. And this is the kind of interface I'm getting. If you are using the newer version of Tableau, you will get the similar one. If you're using older version, by default, it will show you the some sample records. Now let's move to seat here. So before we start creating the donor chart, you have to create a dummy calculated field. So let's do that. I'm just putting a dummy value called as one, right? And let's add this into the view two times. I'll take both the measures into the column self. By default, measures will get aggregated and that's why you are seeing summation here. I'll convert this into attribute. Change both the measures to attribute and now we have both attribute one, right? Now, as we just need one, one chart, so you have to combine both these. To combine both the fields, we can convert this into a dual axis, as you can see here. Let's increase the size of this. For that, either you can use increase size option from your marks pane or you can do the entire view as well. Now, all we need to do is convert this into pie chart. Remember, we have to convert both the attribute into pie chart. You can do that either by going to each of the individual marks or click on all and convert this into pie chart. Here you go. Now we are getting the same. How? Go to your first attribute and increase the size of it. Maybe a little more, maybe a little less, depending upon your requirement. And then go to attribute two and maybe put some a smaller size, right? This one and change the color to something else. See here, right? Maybe increase this little more. Maybe, yeah, this looks better. Now, what we need to do is, remember I told you we are looking for regional cells. So in the attribute one, I'll drag region and put it over color. And here you go. It has started taking shape. If you are not fine with all the different four colors, we can change the color combination as well. For that, edit the color. And here, select the palette that you are looking for. I like this blue teal. So I'll select this, assign palette, and all done. You can even select your custom manual assignment as well. Currently, as you can see, all the four section of this donut chart are having the same size, right? But we want this to change depending upon the sales value. So what are, we have to do is drag sales and put it over size. Now, did you see the changes? If you want to put uh, the total in the middle circle also, drag your sales and put it on the attribute two level. And here you go, it says total sales of 2.3 million. If you want to show the sales value for each of the four sections also, go back to attribute one and drag sales to text. And here you go. If you want to show the region as well, do the same thing on your attribute one. You may change your order of the sales and region, right? And here you go, it's showing me waste as 739,000, central as 503,000 and so on. Let's do a bit of formatting so that it will look better. First of all, maybe I would like to change this currency to maybe dollar and let's put this under maybe million with one decimal points. This looks better, right? You can also play around the fonts and all, depending upon your requirement. For now, I'll just keep as it is. Now, there are upper and lower axis currently available. These are nothing but your headers. If you want to hide it, just right click on it and uncheck the show header. I'll just do for the bottom also. Now, this is far better. Now, the only thing concerning over here is the vertical line that you are seeing. For that, 
let's do formatting again. I'll click here and unhide the grid lines and you are done. Now there is no additional lines over here. And this is a proper donut chart, which looks in a good shape. Maybe I'll change the seat name, donut chart in Tableau. You can play around the formatting as required. So this was a quick video on how to create a donut chart in Tableau. This is very, very helpful whenever you are creating a great dashboard. I hope you enjoyed this video. Do try and comment if you face any difficulty. Like this video if you enjoyed this and subscribe to our channel for such amazing analytics content. Thank you.